going on, Internet Land? It's Thrash. And we're doing it again, baby. The arcade is open, and we are jumping into some retro arcade action. But first, I got to tell you guys something. So, you remember back in December when I said that I was going to be a dad soon? Well, it's happened. Uh, my beautiful baby boy, Ryan, was born March 27th. Uh, I know it's, it's you know, been a minute since I've <laughs> told everyone about it, but you know, it's, it's raising a newborn, man. It's, it's a, it's a whole different animal. Like it's, it's a whole part of life that is just new and exciting and frustrating, but you know what? It's going to be good. And, and who knows, maybe one day he'll continue on this channel for me. So get used to that name, Ryan. He could be your future host. Maybe. <laughs> uh, but anyways, today's game, uh, speaking of childhood, we are, we are going into a game that was a popular TV series. It was, it was actually a really popular uh, cartoon back in the 80s and the 90s, I believe. And also, it's a very popular toy line. Uh, this toy line, like, I mean, all my friends had these. I had a few. Uh, they were, it, was, it was an awesome time. Be, to be a kid in the 80s and the 90s because you had you know shows like this toy lines like this uh just super awesome but we'll get into that in a second first things first you know what time it is i know what time it is it's dad joke time baby and i got another one from the interwebs that's that's really really funny but i, I don't know <laughs> maybe my dad jokes will get better now that i am an actual dad so i don't know let's see why can't your hand be 12 inches long? Because then it would be a foot. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> sorry. Stop. <laughs> oh, man, that one was stupid. Your hand can't be 12 inches long because then it would be a foot. 12 inches is a foot in measurements. No. Nothing, just stop. Okay. Oh. Without further ado, let's jump into today's game, baby. Okay, so today's game is G.I. Joe for the arcade. Oh, man. Uh, what can I say about G.I. Joe? G.I. Joe, like I said, the toy line was just phenomenal. It had so many characters, and I mean, you know, Cobra is one of the greatest evil factions ever. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I loved this show back in the day. My friends loved this show back in the day. You know, we had the toys. Obviously, when you'd go over to like someone's house and they had like the big battle tank like this thing, you know, you're always like, oh man, that shit's so cool. But, you know, we're going to jump in and we're going to see what we can do to stop Cobra Commander. Let's go. All right, so we got Duke, Snake Eyes, Scarlet, and Roadblock. So my dude was always Snake Eyes, so. Mission one. Ninjas, man. All right. Okay. Then Cobra just, Cobra just fucking shit up, because that's what Cobra did. All right, here we go. Oh, dude, listen to that song, bro. How do you not get pumped up playing that? I remember playing this in the arcade. And I remember getting pumped up playing this level. Like, oh, dude, G.I. Joe! <laughs> this also made me want to go home and play with the toys. You know, after going to Camelot. You all remember Camelot? You know? Playing this at the arcade. And, dude, just wanted to get home and play with your toys. But he did. He didn't have a tablet back in the day. He didn't have the goddamn internet. You had your imagination and toys. That's what you did. So, hopefully my son will have imagination. Hopefully. We'll see them. It's a whole different world. Raising raising an infant in today's world, 2024, is a whole different animal. Dude, trying to run up on me with a shield. 
the fuck, bro? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. There. Get out of here. Get him. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Mr. Shieldy Shieldy. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Would you blow up that, blow up that base? Yeah. Oh, bitch. Oh, he got me. Look at that. But he just got hit by a bomb and just backflipped out of it. Like, he's just like, yeah, that, that shit wasn't shit. Look at that. I just backflip out of it. I'm tough. I'm snake eyes. That's what you did. That's what you did when you were snake eyes. Okay, the first bomb. Oh, yeah. These, the twins. Yeah, these guys were... Crimson Guard. I didn't see what it said. But I just remember these twins. Excuse me, sir. It's not nice to shoot that at me. Come on, bro. What you put them forever? Dead? Oh. Oh, no! There you go. Oh. There you go. You know I had like a rocket launcher or something. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, what's he doing? He's turning into a turn. Yeah, but they dead. They dead. Ain't nothing. We're continuing on to the Cobra base. It's like, damn, you know, like they're they they running all the way up. Like, couldn't they like? Drop the team off closer to the base. Instead, they gotta like hoof it all the way to the damn base. No? Okay. No one feels me on that? That's cool. Thanks, fam. Get him. Get him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a good game. This is, this is, this is it. Get him. Oh yeah, get him! Just destroying stuff. See, this is this is what kids wanted back in the day. They just wanted to, a place to destroy shit, you know. And parents wanted a place for kids to destroy shit too, because then they wouldn't destroy their house. So, really hoping my son gets into games like this so that he doesn't destroy the house. All oh, right, if you watch this, please. <laughs> Please don't destroy the house. Damn, this airbase is popping right now. Look at all these guys. Come on, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Get out of here. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, bro! Look at all the explosions! Yep. Yeah, here. Oh, what an asshole. Okay. So, oh, okay. Let's pick someone else. Let's pick... Let's pick Roadblock. The big Roadblock. Roadblock almost got ran. Oh! <laughs> Did that dude just run up and stab me? <clears throat> oh, roadblock. Come on, you got green shoes on, bro. So have y'all have y'all seen those uh I don't know what they were, but someone on the internet made uh, at the end of G.I. Joe, there were, there was always a lesson. You know, like, hey, hey, if the if the fire's on, you know, you gotta turn it off, kids. Like, there was always like a lesson at the end of uh, these shows. This and Transformers, they had like the lesson, right? Well, some beautiful bastard, you know, of course, the internet, they they made like these like the uh, little PSAs, but with different stuff. And like, Roadblocks was the best because he like comes on, and he's like, "Who wants a body massage?" <laughs> 
Oh, man, check out that thing, man. What do you want to do with it? Let's launch over it. Who wants a body massage? Uh, what did he just say to us? Mr. Bottom Massage Machine. Go! Uh, what the hell? Bottom Massage. G.I. Joe! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. If I can find it, I'll put it up. But, oh, man. That shit was so funny. Mr. Body Massage Machine. Go! <laughs> oh, man. Good stuff. Good stuff, Roadblock. Come on, bro. Yeah. You guys ain't got nothing. Nothing. Look at you. Who did that laugh? Oh, look at this guy. Oh, you know what? I forget that guy's name. I do remember that guy. I remember that toy. How about that? And you know what else we'll play on this channel? We'll play the G.I. Joe games that came out on Nintendo. There are two of them. Right there. Uh, dude, those games were great. And in fact, uh, I'll, I'll, when we played G.I. Joe, the first game, I'll tell the story of my best friend and how, <laughs> how never forgetting a password <laughs> can be crucial when you're playing games like this, especially on Nintendo. So yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get into that. That'll be a story at another time. So yeah, man's a madman. That's good. Get my ass kicked by Mr. Flippy Flippy. It's almost like a, a, a kind of like a, you know, going back to Sunset Riders. Yo, Joe. I, 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 I know what I'm saying. Come on, bro, take a bomb. There you go. Get him, Scarlet. Oh yeah, bro. How many hit points does this guy have? Alright, bro. Leave Scarlet alone, bro. There you go. You dead? Did I kill you? Get him, Scarlet. I think we're at the base already. <laughs> oh, man. And so th this game, like, remember, arcade games were short. They wanted you to, you know, it cost money, so they didn't make them too long. They just wanted you to have a good time. I destroyed all your stuff, bro. Da -da -da -da. You know what I love about the arcade games back in the day, man? They're so colorful. I mean, look at this. A plethora of colors. For that ass. Right? You know, it's it's uh I'm surprised they they didn't make like a Transformer game like this. You know. Uh, Transformers and G.I. Joe kind of followed along the same formula. In fact, I think the show was basically just the same story, but with, uh, you know, one with robots and one with, you know, actual commandos and stuff. But, yeah, they always seemed, like, very similar. But I didn't care. I watched, I watched the shit out of all of it. And I don't know which came first. I can't remember. I think it was Transformers that came first. But, I mean, hey, same writers write the shit. Hey, if, it, if, it's, if it's a good formula, it's a good formula, right? Come on, bro. Scarlet whooping ass. Look at that fucking gun she's got. Scarlet ain't fucking around, bro. Oh, I hear him. I hear him get all crazy. There you go. That's for you, bro. Oh. I didn't even see where that bullet came from. Didn't even see it coming. Oh shit, is that Baroness? I can't yep. wait to see you. <laughs> can't wait to see me. I'm right, I'm fucking right here, Showtime. bitch. Do it. Do 
There you go. Come on, bro. Yeah. Shit ain't got nothing. Do little green things. Uh huh. Yep. Here we go. Take out the take out the gunships. Oh, here comes her ship. Take out those. There you go. Oh, I got hit by a big head fireball! Alright, where's Duke? There he is. Duke? I remember, I remember, uh, <laughs> me and my best friend John, we lived, uh, we lived at this house with, uh, two roommates. And, uh, our, our male roommate, I don't know what was wrong with him. I think he, I think he did a lot of acid back in the day or some shit. But when we were, when we were playing GI Joe on the Nintendo one day, he comes in. He just like stands in his fucking underwear, right? He stands in his fucking underwear, and he just goes, "I had all the GI Joes." And then he, and then you think he's done. Like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you had all the GI Joes, great. And then he starts listing them off. I had Duke. I had Snake Eyes. I had the Silver Destro. I had the gold destro. Bro! Standing there in his fucking chonies. He's all fucking sweaty. Yeah. What the fuck? But you know what? That's what you did. That's what you did when you did a bunch of acid back in the day. It cooked your brain. So I guess what I'm saying, kids, don't do drugs. It's bad. It's bad. When you'll be standing in your chonies, in your roommate's room, saying about how you had all the G.I. Joe's. Now, nah. I beat the game. That it. Mission that was only mission one. Okay. So now am I going after Kobe? I don't remember getting. I, I think. Did I ever get this far? I might have always died at Baroness. I'm not sure. Okay, well, this is the final battle, so here we go. Two missions. Two missions and then you're done. That's good. You know, you don't want to overstay your welcome, I guess. But yeah, I got that big gun, bro. Get it. Yeah. Yep. Get him. Oh, an asshole. Come on, Duke. Damn, Duke's getting fucked up. Oh, no! He lost Duke! Oh! You know what else was pretty awesome? So, growing up, you know, of course I was a huge wrestling fan. And did you all know that Sergeant Slaughter was G.I. Joe? That's badass. Sergeant Slaughter was a G.I. Joe. I mean, look at him. Bro, that's awesome. How do you, how do you, how do you be so awesome that they're like, hey, you know, we should make you a G.I. Joe. You're fucking awesome. Wish I was a G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe, bro. Oh. What the hell that hair blower looking thing was? I missed. I missed all those dudes. Missed them all. Flamethrower bros. Alright, Snake Eyes, you're back in. Damn. Uh huh. A tree! I got hit by the tree, too. Alright, Cobra Commander. Your ass is grass. Oh. Oh. Major Blood. Oh, I remember him. Damn. There you go, bro. That's for you. Oh, thank you. Come on, bro. Get your shit out of here. You got the base helping him and shit? Oh, my goodness. 
We already lost Snake Eyes. All right, Scarlet, get in there. There we go. What you got? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, now we know. Jesus. Big ass fireball. Thank you. Hey, you know what else? You know what else makes this game great? Guess who it's made by? Konami. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Konami and Capcom. I'm, 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 I said it once. I'm going to say it again. You're going to hear me say it all the time on this channel. Capcom and Konami ruled the 80s and the 90s. I don't care what. What anyone else says, they just rule. Like, yes, there are another. There are a lot of good companies. Data East, you know, um, SNK. All those companies were great. But, dude, Capcom and Konami for me were. That was it. And they made everything. I, I still, I still lose money on Capcom's slot or Konami slot machines at the casino. I do. Oh, I'm not paying attention! Yeah. Uh-huh. Get him. Come on, bro. Look at all these lights. Cobra Commander's gonna get mad at me! Come on, bro. Oh, Mr. Laser Guy. All right, Roadblock. Let's go. Body massage time, baby. Body massage machine, bro. So sorry. Ah! Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, you dead. Yeah, you dead. Cavern base. Here we go. <clears throat> Roadblock ain't scared, though. Look at him. Roblox was the man. He was cool. He was a really cool character. He was like the juggernaut. Not right there, though. <laughs> Not what I'm playing him, fam! Come on, bro. Get there. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, take that thing out. Uh huh. Oh, give me all that. Give me that help. Oh, what an asshole. Here we go. Take the rockets. You can take them rockets. I'm I, I'm done with these shield guys. Stupid. Run up and stabby stabby you. Oh, what an asshole. Get him, dude. Roadblock, sorry. Getting my Joes mixed up. And shield. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Sir. Sir. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. You stupid flamethrowers. Oh no! What's that thing? I don't know, but it just died! Oh no! Alright, this is our last playthrough. Whether whether Duke wins the day or loses, this is it. Come on, Duke. Yeah, stop Cobra. Here we go. Bullshit. Huh? Let's go. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do really good. I really want to beat this for you. Now we lost a life. It's okay. Alright. Oh, I want to hit the 
thing in the back. Huh? Oh, Mr. Knife Stabby Guy. Here we go. I got the big gun. Got the rail gun. Oh, here we go. Is this it? You're running in the water. Okay. Here we, uh, uh, oh, Destro, baby! I had the silver Destro. There he is! Come on, bro. Come on, Duke. You're gonna let Destro beat you, are ya? Oh. Gotta get that rocket. Yep. Yeah, you guys just get blown out of the water. <laughs> I don't have more balls! Oh. Triple shit. More triple shit? Oh no! Oh man! Cobra wins the day! Alright fam, well that's where I'm gonna end it. Uh, so this was G.I. Joe baby for the arcade. Y'all ever played this? Y'all go to the arcade and actually play this? The game was a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, uh, like I said, this was a lot of, this is, this is childhood for me. Uh, G.I. Joe, all those great shows from the 80s and the 90s, just phenomenal time to be alive. Um, let's see, this Friday, we're going back into the consoles. I think I'm going to go back to the Sega Genesis, and we're going to play uh, a game that's based on a movie that was one of my favorites as, as a kid. Uh, I don't know what it was, but I, I just loved it. Uh, but until then, I hope y'all have a great rest of your week. And I will see you guys on Friday. See ya!